Some of you will be at the polls tomorrow. Local races will dominate Election Day 2021 across the country. But there are a handful of races with national implications that could give us some clues about next year's congressional midterms. BNC Shannon Lanier previews what to watch tomorrow night. One year after the 2020 presidential election. Show up like you did for me. Kamala. The most closely watched races on election day 2021 showcase familiar storylines. Glenn Youngkin is not a reasonable Republican. I call him Donald Trump in khakis. Governor's races in Virginia and New Jersey. Two states President Joe Biden won with double-digit margins in 2020 are closer than Democrats might like, with Republicans looking to send a message ahead of next year's midterms. Virginians have a chance to do something in Virginia that's going to have an effect on the whole country. President Biden made campaign appearances for Terry McAuliffe in Virginia, running against political newcomer Republican Glenn Youngkin and incumbent Governor Phil Murphy in New Jersey and a race against Republican Jeff Cicciarelli. David Barker, director of the American University Center for Congressional and Presidential Studies, says the infighting between Democrats and failure to move Biden's social safety net and climate climate plan could be a drag on Democrats. It's not helping them that they've been arguing uh, amongst themselves for the past year trying to get uh, a couple of infrastructure bills passed. And like 2020, our team shows up, we win. Our team doesn't show up, this thing is a coin toss. While far from 2020 record numbers, turnout may hold the keys. One of the main reasons uh, why the president's party tends to perform poorly in midterms and in these off-year elections in the, in, the, in the year immediately following a presidential year is uh, turnout differential, uh, such that you know human psychology being that when you lost the last presidential election, uh, you tend to be more motivated uh, to, can, to, to get back out there. Of specific interest with Tuesday's turnout, suburban voters in both states as Democrats and Republicans look at what issues motivated them this year and how they may swing districts in next year's congressional races. Shannon Lanier, BNC.